Okay, go. Did everybody go, yeah? Yeah. Just two of us right now. Okay. What time is it right now? Uh, 6.30. I need to do it at 6. So is it, is it just like cut each other? Yeah, I think we're going to have to edit it. Yeah. It, it has to be edited. It, it's okay. Okay, go ahead. It's recording. Um, yeah, so my topic is on nutrition, and basically I'm just going to go over the positive uh, choices we can have like on our impact over in our bodies. So, um, in oh, again? Okay. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go be going over nutrition and how, how we can have positive choices to um, make better impacts. Um, so an issue we have, an issue I'm trying to address, is how the environment is affecting the overall health of low-income communities. Um, and maybe finding ways to provide necessary tools and knowledge for these individuals to live healthy lives. So there's lots of um, uh, environmental inequities that are occurring in our uh, in the community in the Bay Area. And so basically, uh, I'm just gonna, we're going to try to have, find ways on how to um, improve our own health to um, minimize the effects that the environment is having on us. So the mission is in informing all of us on the risks um, there are from not maintaining proper nutrition. And I guess uh, the, the, I guess like my population oh, is all is all y'all. Um, so the solutions, um, so, we're, so we made a website uh, where we're going to uh, share with all of you and it's basically going to go over all the, all the um, different, uh, well my part is going to go all over all the different uh, uh, negative impacts there are for not, not malnutrition, so I'll go over those right now. Um, and useful tips on how to maintain your nutrition and maybe resources for um, 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 with the resources that are in your community. Um, so yeah, so our vision. Um, is like promoting prevention from illnesses that could come from environmental areas. Wait, yeah. Can we, uh, can, wait, can we remain healthy despite these factors? So these are the, like the, the things we're going to try to go on, like, go, like get past. Okay, so how are we going to address these? So we're going to show the audience, all of you, the negative effects. So like the, 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 the negative effects from malnutrition could be Obesity, cardiovascular diseases, um, high cholesterol, and uh, hypertension, um, and those come from uh, you know not eating well. Um, there's a lot of, uh, uh, and I guess in the Richmond area, there's a lot of um, uh, there's not many uh, grocery stores, and there's a uh, if, if you if, if y'all have noticed, there might be more liquor stores and more uh, I guess what we what's called food deserts, and with that 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 could, that could, that could lead to people like I guess buying. Uh, um, like food, fast foods, you know, things that are more convenient. So uh, that, that, that's what could cause obesity uh, and eventually cardiovascular diseases, high cholesterol, and et cetera. Um, so techniques on how to minimize poor health. Um, so yes, um, offering health, healthy choices, um, maybe um, offering memberships at the rec recreational uh, health centers, uh, you know, like the YMCA. Um, also um, providing resources that are available in the community. These could be um, from federal government, from federally funded programs and community-based programs. This could be food pantries, um, CalFresh, and you know any any supplementary um, financial help you can get. Um, this could be free sports memberships and um, exercises, and these will all be on the website and how you can access them and step-by-step uh, uh, -step on how to uh, um, use these resources and uh, improve, improve quality of health. 